I am bringing you another ship with me today. So things have been a little slow in my neck of the woods. So I did a sale on Poshmark and I have a constant sale going on Facebook Marketplace for 20% off and then also 20% off on eBay. Plus I added for the first time, I figured it out, a 10% off coupon. So if they use the coupon, it's 30% off on eBay. So I have had, I believe, 11 sales so far. So I want you to pack them up with me. Let's see what sold. First off, we'll start off with eBay. Now, primarily I am clothing, shoe, handbag reseller, but occasionally I do dabble into hard goods. So I was at the bins one day and, you know, I just, I look through the hard goods. You never know. My Sometimes the shoes are mixed in with hard goods. So I take a look around and I found this Hydro Flask, 16 ounce pint. It still has the sticker on the bottom. I don't think it's ever been used or washed or anything. And so I picked it up. I mean, it's, it's got a little weight to it. It's not too bad. So this sold on eBay. So I do charge shipping to my buyer on eBay. So it sold for $32.65. That's sales price plus the shipping. My fee was $4.56. The shipping cost is $4.20. Cost of goods that day, I averaged it out at the bins. So it was $3.88. They did use that coupon, so it saved them another $2.20. So $17.81 is what I made on this cup. And it's only been listed maybe a couple days. So that was a win for sure. I will finish taping that up here in a minute. And I know I've showed you before, but I do these little simple thank you stickers. I have circles. These are hearts, big, small. I've got them all. You can get them on wish.com or I think it's called Timu. Um, Amazon, pretty much anywhere sells them. So I just add that. Sometimes I've done a video on it. Um, I add a little thank you note. It looks like a business card kind of, and I have a stamp that I'll show you. It's one of these little self inking stamps and it has my business name, um, my email, um, my different closets, different websites on here. I'll stamp that on cardboard or cardstock or whatever recycled material I have around and make it about a business card size, and then I write thank you by hand and a heart. So it's a little bit easier than handwritten, but yet still has a little bit of that feature to it. So next up, I believe, oh, let's do this one is Facebook Marketplace, and then the rest is Posh. So these I actually got from a neighbor. Uh, she was cleaning out a bunch of stuff and she brought me these and I was like, well, yeah, hey dudes, I'll take them. So they, <laughs> they were my size. Um, they were brand new. I wore them once thinking I'd keep them, but they just were too big. I don't know sizings off or my feet have shrunk or what, but I did sell them um, for $45.75. Facebook Marketplace. These are just going to go in a poly mailer. I ordered these. It's called the Recovery Tattoo Mailer. I forget where I get them from. It doesn't say. Hmm. Oh, you pack and ship. Um, it's a fundraiser mailer. Um, for her daughter. So if you want to know more, go to their site. Um, but they're really pretty. I love them. So these sold, like I said, Facebook Marketplace, $45.75. Their fees there are amazing. So $2.43 in fee. Cost of goods, I believe, was like $17.25 for these items that I got from her. $5.93 to ship. And so... 1972 so almost 20 bucks on these um probably should have sold for more but with that 20 percent off hey i'll take it right now i'm just accepting anything that i'm not really losing money on and sometimes you have to come to terms with that i know we get attached to our items sometimes 
that we thrift because there's a whole story behind them and you know it's it's hard work what we do and so it can be hard to let them go all right next up is this beauty this is a BB or baby bag I'm not sure how you say that it's got calf hair here very very y2k has a flap here and then another oh no nope, just one flap sorry but anyway um this sold for 13 on posh so this was out of a thread up handbag box mystery box I haven't gotten one of those in a while i have a name brand box coming so that'll be fun it sold for 13 on Posh, so that fee was only the $2.95. I gave that shipping discount. They ran my sale via Posh or VA. Cost of goods from that thread up box averaged out to $5.47. So I only made $2.56. But this cutie has been listed since Halloween of 2022. So it was time to tell her bye. She's finding a new home in Minnesota, and I am happy to see her go. So some of these things, I mean, it's from a fed up box. It's not something I personally selected, so I'm stuck with it. So I just want to move it along and hopefully not lose any money. So like I've said in those thread up videos, not everything is a winner with those, but there are some diamonds. Be sure you know the risk before you buy those boxes. They're fun, but know the risk. All right, next up, we have the Athleta Skyline shorts. Whoop, if I can get them right here. They're in this beautiful, like, rust color. Skyline 2, they have this paper bag tie waist here. Pocket in the back. These are a size 4. These sold for 22 on Posh. 440 in a fee. My ah, wrong way. 202 shipping discount. Cost of goods was 880. I bought these at a regular Goodwill. So it cost a bit more. They're learning some brands out there. Tell me if your thrifts have learned brands. I see people on Instagram posting stuff. I mean Talbot's like $24.99 at the thrift. I'm like, for real people? Oh, they're crazy. Lost their minds out there. So, I made $6.78. Now, I could have held off because it is, you know, the start of the summer season and short season. But you know what? Move it out. Move it along. Like, I, I'm i in that mind frame right now that it just, it's got to move. It's got to move. So, and I, I don't want to spend the time when I run a sale to be selective and be like, this yes, this no, this yes, this no, and spend that extra time. Time is worth money. So could I have made $5 more on these? Yes, but would I have spent an hour out there nitpicking what I'm gonna put on sale and what I'm not? My hour was worth the $5, so. Here's my soapbox on that. <laughs> Next up, we have this Patagonia Capeline set it is like a blush pink top and bottom very cute very good condition the shirt looks almost cropped but very cute tops bottoms <laughs> kind of like long johns that's what we call them in colorado we sure don't need that in texas these sold for 33 on posh 660 in fee to a two shipping discount. This was a three dollar cost of goods, so really good cost of goods here. And so I made twenty one thirty eight. These were from a local like mission thrift store that um sorry that helps um does like a food bank and clothing vouchers and that kind of thing for people in need so they do have a little thrift store that is like cash only and very very uh what is what's the word um 
homegrown, I guess. <laughs> Not corporate in any way. Um, these were listed about a month, and they're going to Vermont, so that makes sense. They're still cold in Vermont this time of year, so that makes sense. Get any of your winter stuff listed right now, this day, because it's getting to be the warm season. You don't want to miss out on those sales and have to hold it for a whole nother season. Okay, these... I have preached it and preached it. The warm season is linen season, so be sure to check those fabric tags and you can learn what linen feels like. It is just, it's very cottony, it's very natural feeling. Not necessarily soft, but it is a very natural fabric. So these are some linen trousers. They are plus size 16, great size. They're black and they are, let me see it from there, by Poetry. If you Google Poetry brand clothing, you will see it is pretty pricey. It's one of those that it's, um, it's, it's pricey. It's like an Eileen Fisher, kinda. Um, so, these sold for 30. I have a $6 fee, 202 shipping discount, 450 cost of goods, and this was from a Another mission style thrift store here in my town. They do more of the um, food stamp help and food bank and again clothing vouchers, that kind of thing. So alright. 1748. And these were listed oh about a month and a half. It's a good brand though. For sure, very good brand. I pick it up whenever I see it. And this thrift store particularly, um, it's run by a bunch of older ladies and they get a lot of donations from older ladies. So I see a lot of Stuart Weitzman, I see um, a lot of Tahari, a lot of, um, you know, just those kind of mature brands, I guess you would say. Um, a lot of brands that maybe have the higher retail value, not necessarily resale, but um, you know, if you can find a place like that, find it, because it pays off. All right, speaking of Eileen, <laughs> here is Eileen Fisher, extra large, I believe this, let me see the fabric content here, Rayon Lycra, so this really didn't have the, um, you know, exciting, <laughs> exciting uh, fabric content, but I figured it would sell, um, sold for 20 with that sale, so I had it, you know, obviously listed for more, but, um, you know, Eileen sits, I was happy to see it go, I knew it would sell eventually, sold for 20 on Posh, $4 fee, 202 shipping discount, cost of goods, so, my Goodwill tank tops are like $2.29 to $2.49, depending if they have a little more bling or beading or detail to them. Um, this day though, I averaged my cost of goods, so it was $5.42, so I made $8.56. And this was listed um, beginning of December, so a few months of it sitting, um, you know, not the worst I've ever had of Eileen, so... That's okay. And if you notice, I am using the free shipping supplies from USPS. The link is in the description below. I finally added it after talking about it for a while. And um, you can have them delivered to your door. So you put it in your order, figure out what you want. Even the padded flat rates. You can see the stack of them back here. I get them by boxes of a hundred to my door. I know that some people struggle with their local post office handing over, you know, a handful of them even. So just bypass that, order them, get that sent right to you. So um, sometimes I put clothes in um, the Tyvek mailer, sometimes in the padded flat rate, sometimes in these little boxes. I try to. Think of what would be 
the most compact, convenient way to send my items so that my customer can get them in a timely manner. Um, some communal mailboxes, you know, this will fit. Sometimes, you know, these shoe boxes won't fit. I'll show you that in a minute, what I do, but, um, you know, just, just keep that in mind. So, simple things go a long way. So, speaking of Eileen, she's showing up again. This is a size extra small linen maxi. Just very simple. Very good for summer. This will be gorgeous on Miss Ellen in Ohio. So, I've had this since mid-January, so a couple months. This sold for $22 with this sale. $440 fee to free to ship. And my cost of goods was $2 at that local mission. So, $13.58 is what I made here. You can also get these stickers. They come in these big rolls and, or you can buy them there. You have longer stickers that are strips. These are just the little like business card size ones here. I use these when I taco the um, Tyvek mailer. See how this end doesn't quite always, you know, adhere down. I just hate for this to get caught, so I just kind of sandwich it together with these. Just, again, I know I would hate it if that happened. Excuse me, I am out in my garage with the door open because it's beautiful out, so this is where my shipping table is, is out here, so all right. Okay, we're moving on to some shoes. So these, love these. I, these are a little dusty, sorry. I hate to send them out like that. Dust them off real quick. So these are Merrill Juno. These are some Chunky Tread. Hold them up here so you can see them. Sandals. There's a Merrill on the bottom like Sorrel does. Um, these I've had since August of last year, so for a bit, these are, um, they sold on Posh for $27, $540 in fee, $202 ship, cost of goods was $5 at my local Boys and Girls Club, retail, thrift store, so I made $14.58. They sat for quite a while, so that's something to keep in mind. Merrill usually is a good brand, but sometimes it's just the style. So, noted. <laughs> so $14, but noted for next time. And these, um, some sandals and some more rugged shoes, I put in a padded flat rate. Again, just for that convenience rather than a big bulky box, shoe box. Um, it's your call, whatever you're most comfortable with, but um, yeah, that's what I do. Okay, these are some Cody James Youth Cowboy Boots. I am in Texas, so I come across cowboy boots pretty often. I usually pick them up um, as long as there are no major flaws. Um, I recondition the leather, and that goes a long, long ways, putting a little bit of leather conditioner on them. Um, these do have some loose threads in the stitching. I noted that, and these... Lovely, sold for $20. They are used size 3, so, you know, a probably big, big boy size. And, stick this in the shoe box. Alright, they sold for $20 on Posh, $4 fee. My cost of goods averaged out to $6 from a regular Goodwill. So I made $10. Bucks. Um... My kids' shoes, I believe, are $4, and my adult shoes are $9 at my Goodwill, my normal retail Goodwill. So $4 for kids' shoes, $9 for adults, and their cutoff, I believe, is size up to size 5 is considered children's. So I look for those sizes because I'm like, eh, it saves me $5. So, um, And these were listed about a month. So, um, okay, 
So these big shoe boxes. So when I have a smaller size of shoe that's not quite as tall, what I do is I take my scissors and I get to the corner here and I just do a snip, just one scissor length, blade length down. And when you do that, these ends will fold down pretty straight and then these sides will go flat. Ta-da! So you now have a shorter box. It's not, okay, maybe the prettiest, but again, cuts down that size by a couple inches and helps your customer. So I think it's worth it, personally. Save them. Save you. Okay. So these are going to Georgia. Not too far. Thank you know here, or sticker. <laughs> okay, now this one, whoops. And this one here, these are free people. These are a caged black booty. These are in a 39. I actually <laughs> bought these and actually wore them a couple times from, from the thrift. I thrifted them, wore them a couple times. They were my size, wore them to church. They're comfy, they're gorgeous, I love them, and I know that Miss Kelly is going to enjoy them. So again, I did the little box snip and clip tri trick here. So, fold it down the sides, this side, this side, and then you don't have any overhang that you have to trim any further. So. Just my theory on the box. Take it away. I know. Do a little extra, but that's just my thoughts on it. So, I hope y'all's sales are better than mine, but I'm doing everything I possibly can to drum them up. So, here we are. It is April. We are getting closer to that summer slowdown. I hope y'all are taking proactive steps now so it's not hitting you in the face come June or in July. So be sure I was able to print thread up um, labels the other day. And I also sent some stuff out with my thread up or real, real consultant. So be thinking about those ways that you can be still making additional money. And I know thread up doesn't pay out a whole lot. Commission structure on the real, real sucks. I get it. I agree. But we got to diversify. We got to think about these things. Is there a consignment store in your area that you could take some old stuff to and see what they can do? Have that working for you, that inventory working for you, and you still be doing what you're doing. And so you have multiple streams of income during this slowdown time. So hope you have a great week and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.